So I think these are unfolding. And what I saw when I saw martial law come into America was military law. I saw it being an answer. And I believe right now, if we're going to go that way, if our present leaders are not going to hear, not going to defend our country, not defend our borders, and open the door to the kind of terrible things I saw, then, you know, martial law is going to seem like a reprieve. And the real key is who the marshal is. We need to start praying now, if this is going to happen, that the Lord have the right marshal with wisdom, with a love for freedom. You know, I would hope an absolute commitment to our Constitution. And you say, well, how could anyone who takes over the country under martial law have a love for our Constitution? In extreme crisis, sometimes you have to do extreme things. That doesn't mean they can't move us back towards that. Bring order, bring control, bring the defense that we need in our country and the protection of our citizens that are needed, and then bring us back to the republic and restore the republic that we're called to be. That's my prayer. I believe that can happen. I believe all of the things we've done to undermine our Constitution can be corrected and changed. So, um, but I'm praying right now, whoever the marshal is, please give him great wisdom, resolve, courage, everything else needed for these times. But even better than that, it would be to pray for our present leaders to wake up and uh, to turn so these things don't have to happen. Now, I'm going to have other things to share about this. There is more that I do have to process. And I would like to 